Will filling an inflatable boat with helium or hydrogen make it more buoyant? Helium and hydrogen leak out of everything. So much so that steel absorbs hydrogen like a sponge and helium is used for leak detection on ultra-high vacuum systems. Moreover, hydrogen is explosive under a very wide range of circumstances. Technically, no I'll be the contentious one. If the boat is the same volume, when you fully immerse it, it displaces the same amount of water, so we'll have the same amount of force pushing up on it, i.e. the same buoyancy. If it is floating, the boat itself weighs less, so it needs to displace less water to float, and therefore the buoyant force is less. It would be odd to say it is less buoyant, I would state it as less buoyancy is required to make it float. I think a layman might say it is more buoyant, but a physicist may be more pedantic. Side question which is kind of dumb but I really don't understand. If you had a metal enclosed object in water, how does the water know that there's air inside? Like the air is just interacting with the metal and the metal with the water. Is the air pushing the metal up? Basically how does density work? Barely. Buoyancy is a function of how much water is displaced with your example. The differential between the density of the volume of the pontoons or cells versus the atmosphere above isn't significant relative to the mass of the vessel. Yes, but not much. The fraction of the height of a floating object above water level is inversely proportional to its density compared to the water density. The lighter the object per unit of volume, the higher it would be above the water. Now, the mass of hydrogen or helium needed to reach the same pressure than air would be higher, so it wouldn't make any noticeable difference and it would leak faster. If you put pure nitrogen into car tires, the pressure stays much longer. Nitrogen makes up 78 of the air we breathe and poses no risk. As the molecules are bigger than the other molecules in air, they can't escape as easily. When a tire loses pressure, it's probably the other molecules that escape. The problem with inflatable boats is often loss of pressure, and this could help keep the pressure high. I haven't tested it, and it probably depends on the valve used. No. Displacement is displacement. Flotation is a matter of the water displaced by the hull. Doesn't matter if the inflatable is filled with air, hydrogen, helium, etc. or even foam except for the weight of said gas foam. Not enough difference between the weight of differing gases to make any difference.